Oh, Jesus. <laughs> People told you. This is how we do it. It's 1995. Comics back then were predominantly white. And I said, man, there's so many funny people doing comedy in the hood, but there was no one there to see them. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna change that. God was like, Hollywood don't want to come to the hood, so let's take the hood to Hollywood. I am so excited for this. Oh, so good. That was a clip from the new Prime video documentary, Fat Tuesdays. That profiles the era of hip hop comedy at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles, and it's where many of the modern day comedy titans you see on the screen, mm -hmm. that's where they were made. It's amazing just how many people. I mean, it features comedians like Nick Cannon, J.B. Smooth, Jay Farrow, so many more. We recently got a chance to talk to the founder of Fat Tuesdays himself, Guy Tory. Guy, it is so great to see you again. It's been a little bit since Comedy Kitchen and you cooked for us. How have you been? Yes. I've been great. I've been great. You know, all doing, you know, the whole shutdown. I was doing Comedy Kitchen, but I was working on this project that I've been working on mm -hmm. for years, which is right behind me. So it's been fun. It's been fun. My first time as an executive producer of a project. And uh, man, I'm excited. Yeah, Fat Tuesdays, for those that don't know, I mean, we've been watching this and it's all the iconic <coughs> black comedians that we know of, but for those that don't know what Fat Tuesdays and how that started, what's the history? History is about a comedy that I created back in 1995. I was three years old at the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and 95, and it, it was to really to showcase black comedians because after the Rodney King riots in 92 in Los, in Los Angeles, South Central LA, uh, a lot of industry quit coming to the black, the black neighborhood to see black comedians. Yeah. So when I arrived, I didn't see that industry presence. So I said, you know, let me bring the hood to Hollywood. Let me go to Sunset Boulevard, to the comedy store and see if I can showcase black comedians. And of course they opened their doors to us and the rest is history. So many comedians have come through and, and showcased and booked work or gotten agents and managers. But it also was a, it's a story of healing Los Angeles because at the mm -hmm. time, LA was divided. And, you know, everybody know laughter purifies the air. So, yeah. you know, laughter is what healed, helped heal Los Angeles at that time. And this documentary tells that journey. Yeah, so many black comedians also were talking about Fat Tuesdays and how they could actually go up and like just be free. And it was a safe mm -hmm. space for them, especially for right. uh, black female comedians who right. you, you talk to. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I wanted a, a night where we didn't tell people what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, that they can come and be themselves, especially when usually when black comedians go to mainstream clubs, they're told what they can and cannot say, or even they censor themselves without being told. At Fat Tuesdays, you can come and be yourself. You can you, you can tell the jokes the way you, you always tell them. You can be a woman and, and, and be yourself without quid pro quo. A lot of uh, women in this in every industry have to sacrifice certain things to get work, and it's sad. So I wasn't going to be that club. It's incredible to see the names and like the younger versions of everybody yeah. coming through. I know it's been a crazy time, guy. We're, I do want to ask you. We just lost an iconic comedian, Bob Saget, a friend yeah. of yours. What was he to you? Bob was Bob was uh, he's also in the documentary, man. We lost mm -hmm. two uh, D militant, uh, um, Daryl D militant militant. He mm -hmm. passed a week before Bob Saget and Bob Saget, and they're both in the documentary, but they both were mentors to me. I met Bob Saget up in Aspen at the Comedy Festival. He had heard about Fat Tuesday. He said, "Man, I want to come play Fat Tuesday." And this is when we all, you know, knew Bob Saget from Full House. Right. We didn't know. Yeah. The stand-up Bob Saget. It was right. a little, was like, a little more <laughs> X-rated Bob Saget comedy. Right? Yeah, I was like, okay, because I knew what Fat Tuesdays was. I knew that room was a room where you got to bring it. And Bob Saget was wasn't known as in the black community as that comedian. So when he came and hit the stage, everybody was like, what? You know, you talk to a dog and they look at you sideways. That's yeah. how they look at <laughs> Bob Saget <laughs> when he came out there. But once he got out there and he started telling his jokes, the audience went, exploded. You know, black people, we explode and we laugh. Ah! <laughs> we explode. So that's what it was. Are you? But he was just such a great dude. He was fearless. That's what he meant mm -hmm. to me. He was fearless because yeah. he's like, yeah. you know what? A lot of comedians, even black ones, were, were intimidated by that audience. But Bob Saget, like, yo, I'm, I'm, I want to do this. Yeah. Are you amazed at how involved that you have been in so many people's careers and giving them the platform and the opportunities that they have today? You've been there with them for decades. 
You know what? It, it's a blessing. Uh, Fat Tuesday was an assignment. It was by divine order. Mm. And I'm just um, I'm just happy enough that I was obedient, obedient enough to, um, to, to carry that torch and to open that door for those comedians. Because, you know, we are here to serve. And that's not our job on earth. And if that's my way of serving and helping other comedians get through doors that I was that I could get through, then that's my that was my purpose. And that's that's what I'm most proud of. It's really the, the comedians who paid it forward. Not they not only made it uh, and coming to Fat Tuesdays, but they went on to start their own productions and start putting other comedians on, like Nick Cannon and Cat Williams and Kevin Hart and Chris Spencer and all these guys and Dave Chappelle. They they they've gone through Fat Tuesdays. And, and went on to help other comedians out, and that's what it's all about. Thank you again for joining us today. Always great to catch up, Guy. Thank you. One of my favorite guests. Guy is so great. Okay, so Fat Tuesdays is a three-part docu-series, and it starts streaming tomorrow oh. on Prime Videos. Can't yeah, check wait. it out. Love seeing all of those comedians, and we know where they got their start. Yeah. And Guy played a role Big in all of that. Part of it. Mm -hmm.